Currently, the Supreme Court has 8 out of 11 justices. Court of Appeal has 9 out of the expected 15, and the High Court requires an addition of 41 judges. Officials from the Justice Ministry say the shortfall is hampering the quick dispensation of justice in the country. Execution of judicial mandate is hampered by the delayed appointment of justices for the Supreme Court, justices of the Court of Appeal, Stroke Constitutional Court, and judges of the High Court. We would require an amount of 12 billion for the new judges that we require. The Justice Ministry also plans to separate the Court of Appeal from the Constitutional Court and decentralize the Court of Appeal into four regions. These rough changes are expected to clear the case backlog, which stands at 4,800 in the second highest appeal court. We find that it's unacceptable for a civil case to take 34 months to be completed. We would like to see that come down. Our operational funds have stayed constant, and we wanted the the, the operational funds to be added so that people can be able to conduct court. The Chief Registrar Paul Gardenia was appealed to Parliament to expeditiously resolve the crisis over the appointment of a substantive Chief Justice and a Deputy. The earlier these issues are resolved, some of us who support the very top management, I think will be in a strong position to drive forward the agenda for the institution. As part of the plans to extend the justice system to the community, the judiciary also wants every district to have a chief magistrate and grade one magistrate respectively at every sub-county. Over 32 districts have no magistrates and thus have to trek, people have to trek long distances to seek for judicial services. However, the judiciary have a funding deficit of 92 billion shillings next financial year. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.